Intense summer heat may be to blame for a dangerous mess in the air. Southwest Airlines says soda cans are exploding mid-flight, already injuring more than a dozen flight attendants. Chief Transportation Correspondent and pilot herself, May K. Beeler, joining us now with these messy details. I know, I know. You yes. know, blame it on the searing summer heat. You mm. know, my goodness gracious. According to reports, more than 100 accounts of soda cans exploding on flights were reported in June. Well, this according to the Southwest Airlines Flight Attendant Union that disclosed some of these volatile cans acting like little bombs have injured flight attendants. Union President Bill Bernal told CNN, there have been nearly three times as many reports of exploding cans by the end of July. Now, this appears to be a Southwest Airlines issue, and it's been happening for years, but Bernal says this year's number of incidents are higher than normal, and perhaps climate change is the culprit. Mm. Climate change, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, he, because I was just down on a trip in Charleston, we took a bunch of root beer down there for the kids, and they had a couple of them explode in the car because we were getting too oh, hot in the back. See, same thing. But is it kind of the same thing, isn't it? And yeah. what's the issue with Southwest, okay. and why not any other airline? So, this is interesting. Southwest, Southwest does not have perishable food on board. Mm. No perishable items. They don't need a refrigerated storage area. So they don't have anything that's refrigerated. So when these cans come on board, they're already hot. They've been in a truck. They come on board, they're hot. And you know, carbonated beverages don't do well in heat. If you just move them slightly, mm -hmm. they can explode and they're picking them up. You know, for passengers, they can explode. So it's a heat issue for Southwest. They don't have refrigerated areas on board. Wow. Mm. Good. I never would have thought about that. And, I mean, I and they're going to some of the hottest areas, too. That's right? exactly right. Yeah. So, you know, they're in Phoenix, they're in Vegas, they're in Dallas. So those hot temperatures. So I imagine when these soda cans are brought up to the airplane, they're in a hot truck, and now they're loaded on the airplane and they're not refrigerated. Mm. So what they're hoping to do is perhaps get get it transferred there in a refrigerated truck. <clears throat> keep them cold yeah, before they get on cold. the plane, yeah. And they're going to have temperature guns where they can measure the temperature of the cans before they board them to see if they're safe. So, so when you talk about these solutions, though, yes. I mean, is that kind of like that's where they're going? I mean, that's really all they can do? From what I understand, according to reports, that's what they're going to do. The temperature guns. And what if they're too hot? They're not going to go on board. Does, and does that pass on to the cost of those guns, pass on to the passenger ticket prices? What do you think? Probably. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. It all comes down to us, right? It Pay does. A little bit more. Right. Pay, up. Pay some more, right? There we go. <laughs>